Okay, this project is going to be a one day project. It's a self portrait over a photograph using wild colors. So that sounds like fun. The terms that you're going to need to know are light, medium, and dark value. Value is the lightness and darkness of a color. And also transparency or translucency, which means the see through ability of what you're working on. And I'll show you what those mean. So the first thing you're going to need to do. Number one, first thing you're going to need to do is take a selfie. Open your camera. You can have it facing away from you or facing to you. It's easiest if you can see what you're doing. I'll be really fast. Just take one. Don't mess around taking a whole bunch of them. Just do one really fast. Ready? Here we go. Okay, so Mrs. Ansbutt took a silly picture of herself right down there. You can click on it. Okay, now I want to, the second thing we're gonna need to do is make that photograph be black and white. Ready, here's how you do that. Edit. Down here you have some choices. This is the one that I like for making it black and white. Touch it. Choose B and W, that's black and white. And there's all these different kind of um, camera settings. So scroll through there and find the one that shows the most lights and darks. So you want the darks to be really dark and the lights to be really light. I think these middle ones are probably the best. Highest contrast there. When you've got that, you choose done. And that's it. I made a black and white portrait of myself. Now, the third thing we need to do is go open a painting program. So, I'm going to close this, close the camera, go look for the folder that says Art. Inside the folder that says Art, you might have to scroll around in there a little bit, but in there is going to be one that says Brushes XP. Open that up. First thing we want to do in Brushes XP, well, you need to open a new one. You can see here's one that I was working on before. Choose Plus to open a new canvas. And there you go. Now before you start, I want you to make a palette. You need a light color, a medium color, a dark color, and a black in your palette. So four colors. Number four, make a palette. Okay, here's how you do that. Click on your color. Make a space over here on your palette by dragging these away. Just take all those colors that are on this end of it and make you a nice space so that you've got a place so that you've got a place over here to work. So now I want a light color so I'm going to choose a very 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 light maybe green. I need a medium color so maybe I'll choose a medium Dark color, darkish color, so I'm gonna pick a darkish blue. And then I need a really, really, really dark color or a black. So maybe I'll get move this way down here so that it turns really dark. Okay, so it looks to me like there's a lot of difference between these two and maybe not so much difference between these two. So I'm going to take this one and darken it some. I think this is going to work better if it's darker. And I think this one might need to be a little bit lighter. Okay, there's my palette. Now the next thing I want to do, number five, is I need to import my image. Looks like I accidentally made some marks, so I can always undo that if I need to. Okay, so to import your image, go up here to landscape. 
choose you can choose moments or you can choose your camera roll. You can see Mrs. Anspaugh has been doing a few of these demonstrations. Woo, there's that crazy picture of me. Choose accept. And that brings it in to your painting program. If you look at your layers, you can see that you have a layer of nothing and a layer that's your image. So first let's enlarge your, let's make this bigger so that you've got plenty of room to draw on it. Now, number six, zoom in and paint on the transparent layer. Okay, here's the sixth step. Zoom in, we did that. Undo that pink mark that I didn't want because it's painted on the wrong place. Look at my layers. This is the layer I need to be painting on. If I paint on this layer, see how this is blue? That means that this is the one that's selected. If I paint on this layer, and then I say, oh, that's not what I wanted, and I get my eraser and erase it, look what happens. It's erasing my photograph. And the only way to fix that now is to undo. But that's not what I want. I want to paint on a layer so I don't mess up this. So if I choose this layer and paint on it, everybody says, oh no, what's happening? Nothing's happening. Well, look at your layers. Actually, that's right, because I had the eraser, but oh no, what's happening? See, it was coloring. You just couldn't see it because it was underneath of my photograph. Oh, there it is. Wow, I made some scribbles on that. Okay. So now, I want to start off with my lightest color. That's my light green right there. And I want to find the lightest, lightest colors. Where's my lightest whites? Well, let's adjust the size of my brush. This is very light in here. Oops, make sure I'm drawing on the right one. this because when I choose undo it replaces those layers where they were. Okay so I'm going to zoom in on the places that I think are the lightest and I'm going to color the stuff that's light. Looks like my forehead should be light. Ooh that should be really light. Looks like this should be light. Looks like this should be light. Lots of times people think that the whites of your eyes should be light, but look, I can't even see the whites of my eyes right now. It's like I should have some light around the edges of my mouth here. It looks like this should be light. Okay, see me finding all these little light areas and coloring them? Even here on my lips are going to be white. Alright, so you go around looking for the light areas. This is going to be Really, all this hair is going to be really light. You can tell it's going to, that I've got it around right if it kind of blends in. If I'm using it and it glows, like this is maybe a little too light. If I'm coloring like this part and it looks like it's glowing, way too light. I actually probably have this a little bit too light, but in here it blends in pretty good, so that looks like it's probably about the right color. So let's try to find some medium. want to have to carefully color around my glasses all that much. I want to be able to see what I'm doing even if I make most of it be medium and when I come back and do dark I'd like to be able to see where that is. So the way I do that is I come in here and I adjust the opacity or the transparency and I make that a little bit more see-throughable. See I can make it completely see-through to where you can't even see it, completely opaque, so I like it in here someplace because now when I go say, oh, I'm going to work on dark now, I can tell where I need to do that because I can kind of see through. I can tell where my eyebrows are. I can tell where my eyes are. I might even need to lighten it even more so that I can really see all those areas where I need to have the darks. So I'm going to have mediums in here. 
here. That color looks better, doesn't it? I mean, it looks crazy. That looks like crazy lip color, but it looks like it's about the right darkness, where this one was too glowy, I think, a little bit too light. And if I do this, then that seems too glowy too, so that's a little bit too light also. Looks like I should go with my darkest, darkest darks. So I've been working on this for a little while now. Now it's time for number seven, which is check. You need to check to see if what you're doing is what you want to be doing or what you think you're doing. I just made some mistakes there. Undo, undo. Okay, so to check, you pull up your, pull up your layers here, and I want you to turn this one off, and then I want you to put your opacity all, oops, not on that one. I want you to get on this one and turn the opacity all the way up to 100, and look at it to see if it looks like you, and to see if it's well, it doesn't have to look like you, but to see if it looks like a face and to see if it's, you know, the, all of the parts of the face are described in the way that you want it to be described. Looks to me like I would like to have a little bit more serious dark darks under here. I would like to smooth some of this jaggedy stuff out a little bit, but all in all, I don't think that's too bad of a portrait. Kind of crazy, but it definitely describes that crazy face that I was making. So then the steps that are after that are go 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 I like to say be an artist because sometimes kids keep going to the teacher saying is this right is this right is this right and only the artist knows whether this is the right way for you to finish your art but also watch out for being too much of a goofball kid kind of thing because sometimes kids get to just drawing mustaches on themselves and making themselves have vampire teeth and they lose the point of self-portrait wild colors light medium dark that reference the photograph if you're not referencing the photograph if you're not using the photograph to inform the decisions that you make, you're probably not doing it right. Okay, have a good time.